Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to the weekly Free Spirit messages going into June 20th. So if you did not see the overall, it was all about divine support for manifesting. It blew me away. And quite literally, you could be finding that in the physical as you're taking your moves and your steps and trying to do your work that you're feeling guided or you are being helped in some magical and magical ways. Um, and I asked um, for people to write that in the comments what they're experiencing because it is quite miraculous what's happening. So this is divine support for manifesting. And they were also saying embrace all the new waves, all the new ways of doing things, all the new ways that come in. Um, embrace all that because sometimes we get so much in our head and I'm guilty of it too. And they were giving me spirit messages of just, you know, exhale the fear. You know, yes, everything's evolving and changing, but just wait there comes the new thing, you know, the new way of doing things, the new things coming in. So there, it is divine support for manifesting. And they were saying, hold fast to your dreams, to your visions, and keep doing the work, keep doing the moves and the steps because you are manifesting. You are in the process of manifesting and they're helping you. It's divine support for manifesting. So we're going to tap into the arc. We're going to tap into now three decks, three free spare cards for supportive love, support, backing that extra sprinkle to that overall for the week. So we're going to tap into the natural oracle for life for messages for the journey. We're going to tap into divine spirit messages from divine spirit, loved ones, passed on their spirit guides to your divine spirit, real direct advice. We're going to tap into the pure love from spirit, which I feel like this all is. So these are quicker to the point messages of what we could keep in mind for the week. Uh, direct spirit messages of love support guidance that would help support us that week beyond the overall reading what we can keep in our minds and hearts so let's step in some messages clear messages for all of us for the week and they are ready already okay so what are the clear messages Ooh, for the journey right away simming simmering anger interesting simmering anger just flew out so simmering anger there could be a, a, a lot of things that were kicked up in us we have two more that flipped out right in my hands simmering anger wow so so far we have simmering anger let any anger simmer down with the sun each day you may even feel differently tomorrow in the light of a new day so this is a reverse explanation mark so anything that was kicking up your anger frustration um all of that could really be simmering down or they're helping you to simmer down a lot with the anger resentments or yeah to do more of what you love to grow your heart by doing those things that you love and give you joy your heart will grow more and more full and it's that love that will fulfill your life so your life will flourish so to help you simmer anger frustration um resentment anything that has been kicking up your feelings do more of what you love so it will give you more joy quite literally they're saying and reach out for good connections they're saying it's time to connect and reconnect reach out and form connections now help and support is now available through your connections and also loving memories have been planted so loving memories have been planted in your heart to have forever hold on to them and cherish them and they will fill you with love whenever you need them i also feel like that's your love support backing of people who've passed on like you hold them in their heart um reach out for good connections in the physical they want you to do more of what you love especially if you're getting angry or frustrated um to focus a little bit more on what you love right now um will do wonders in helping you to get rid of those frustrated feelings reach out for good connections now because there's a lot of good connections here it could be business or just personal that they're saying help and support is available through all your connections so reach out for more of that support at this time and there's been a lot of love and memories in your heart to hold forever uh, that's what they're saying as well. So let's see. And you can also be making new memories with your connections. Yes, yes, yes. We have two more. Oh, I love this. Again, the divine timing they want you to know. So they do want to know the winds of change are blowing through. The winds of change are blowing in, but you're ready. Welcome in the new and different now. So they literally had the wheel come out in the overall. So definitely the winds of change are blowing through. They want you to know despite that, that divine timing is at work here. And there is divine timing at work here. Feel a great peace rising within you right now in this very moment, knowing you are right now perfectly in sync with divine timing. And they've this has been a repeating message. They want us to know that no matter what's going on, what it feels like, especially during the winds of change, it's divine timing at work. Um, they again want us to raise our vibrations 
to keep your vibrations high, raise your vibrations right now, lift your spirit up and change your thoughts to much lighter ones. We literally had obsessive thinking come out in the overall. They're helping us to have higher vibrations, to clear out our mind, to stay positive and make sure what you're thinking is not obsessive, not fear-based and all of that. Um, Change your thoughts to much lighter ones and feel yourself shifting higher. Keep your vibration up and attract good things now. They are saying you're attracting good things now. They want you to know that um, through these winds of change, they're keeping your vibrations up. Uh, reach out for good connections now. It's also keeping your vibrations out. Simmers the anger, you know, anything that's around us at this time that could literally push all our buttons of frustration or whatever. Sometimes to help with that, you can relax. Sometimes you just need to get away for a minute. Take a mini vacation right where you are and just breathe. Breathe again. They're helping us to relax and have peace during this time. To simmer our anger, our frustration. To keep our vibrations up. That despite the winds of change and everything they're blowing through. They're saying yes. Welcome the new and the different now. Welcome the new and different now. And reach out for new connections. And the last one is your worth is golden. Your worth is golden. That's what they want you to know. You are golden. Remember your worth and your value. Stand your ground and stand up for yourself if you need to. And do all that reflects that your worth is golden. So as you're making the moves now for the new and the different going forward, we kept on getting what well, we got in the overall, the emperor, you know, being strong and know your worth and your value. And that's what they're saying. So do all that reflects that your worth is golden. That's how they want you to go forward in this week. Oh, wow. Okay. Your worth is golden. So let's get the divine spirit messages. And maybe they're helping us to feel more of that. That your worth is golden to value yourself and what you're doing in the physical. Right? That sure keeps my vibrations high. They're reminding you of your worth and your value. So what is the divine spirit messages for the week of the 20th? Ooh, that flew right on the anger. Let's see. Frustration and anger. Follow your intuition now. They want you to follow your intuition now. We got that in the other reading as well. That they were reaching out to help. Um, messages from heaven was like, uh, they're reaching out. Your intuition is strong. They're reaching out to help as you're making your moves. Follow your intuition now. Yes, yes, yes. And you, you can't make this up. You have a big yes on that. Just as I'm saying, yes, yes, yes. Follow your intuition now. You have a big yes on that. So whatever you're getting intuitively, I kept on saying uh, they're guiding you on the steps in the physical. Quite literally, the intuition is so strong. It's actually helping us to get out of our minds and have higher vibrations. You have a big yes on that. Anything that you're getting with your intuition, um, you yes, you have a big yes on that. That's your big yes. So... Yeah, big yes on that. And a big yes on your worth is golden. <laughs> big yes on that. Following your intuition now as you're going forward. Reaching out for good connections. Go for the new and different now. Your worth is golden. Trust the process we're getting. Trust the process and believe you're supported in this. That's what they want you to know. Trust the process. Believe you are supported in this as you go forward in the physical. So believe you are supported in this and trust the process. And the last one, trust the process. You no longer need that in your life. Yeah. There's some... You hear all the honks? There are some things that we are definitely leaving. You no longer need that in your life. That's the winds of change. They want you to know you no longer need that in your life. Trust the process. You're supported in this. Follow your intuition right now. You have a big yes on that. It's time to reach out for good connections. Do more of what you love. Simmer any anger, frustration. Keep your vibrations high. This is the winds of change blowing through. Welcome in the new and different now. Um, you can relax anytime you need it. You can take a time out right where you are if you need to breathe through the winds of change. But you can't make this up. They're saying it is time to stand up for yourself. Yes, your worth is golden. So just like the emperor came out, it's almost like embodying that where it's time to stand up for yourself. You are golden. Remember your worth and your value. Stand your ground and stand up for yourself if you need to. Do all that reflects your worth is golden. That's what they want you to do. It's like be fully lit and empowered. Um, we've been getting that over and over and over again. So where do you need to stand up, take control, be efficient, take charge of situations um, in the physical? It's time to stand up for yourself. Yes, 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 yes. And trust everything. I uh, believe you're supported in this. That's what they're saying. So 
Wow. Okay, let's end it with pure love from spirit. For messages for the week. Let's see. Pure love from spirit. Yeah. Just what I was saying in the other reading. I cannot believe this came out. We're going to send you some miracles. You have to find help as you're making the moves in the physical. That things that through the winds of change, that things are coming in to help you. The new and the different kind of meets you as you're taking your steps in the physical. I talked about that in the overall. It's very strange. Like as things are going, you know, when they said you no longer need that in your life. And then you're all like a little fearful. You're feeling this like anger, frustration, like, oh my God, this is blowing out and what's coming in. And they're, they're going to send you some miracles in its place. It's like things will miraculously come in. Um, I spoke about that in the overall, that they're helping you quite literally in the physical to have things work out. So, yep, just know your worth, stand up for yourself, know your value, believe you're supported in this, trust the process we're getting. We know you miss us. If you've been thinking yeah this is reminding me of this like if you've been thinking in your heart of loved ones passed on you know loving memories have been planted in your heart to have forever hold on to them and cherish them and they will fill you with love whenever you need them the people that you hold dearly in your heart loved ones passed on that if you've been thinking or reminiscing or flashing on them that they know that you miss them and i've chosen ways when i say that because um we've all lost people who are really dear to us and if you've been thinking about them looking at pictures of that of them um, you know, all of that. They know that you miss them, and I've chills all over the place. Oh my god, I just got so cold. They know you miss them. So this could be a time where you were even talking about them, looking at pictures of them, reminiscing, having flashes of them. They know that you miss them, and now they're all coming out. We're here for you. Yeah, they want you to know we are here for you. We want the best for you, and we love you. That's why I'm doing these. That's what they want you to know. The people who have loved you loved that are passed on. They want you to know that they know that you miss them. They're there for you and we want the best for you. We love you. They're sending you some miracles. Now in these winds of change where we can get fear based and everything else, they're saying, you know, welcome the new and different now. You're ready. Welcome the new and different. So you can release any kind of anger, or frustration. It's a reversed explanation mark. They're helping you to simmer down and relax. They want you to stand up for yourself with the moves that you're making in the physical follow your intuition and know that your worth is golden and stand up for yourself i love this remember your worth your value stand your ground stand up for yourself if you need to do all that reflects your worth is golden um yes and they're helping you to go forward you have a big yes on that follow your intuition now anything that's been coming up with your intuition they want you to know you have a big yes on that so that's your low support backing like they said believe you're supported in this what you're doing in the physical and they're helping you to keep your vibrations high that's a lot Trust the process and keep your vibrations high as you go forward and stand up for yourself and keep moving. Um, they're going to send you some miracles. They love you. That is it. And they're acknowledging it is the winds of change, but you're ready. You're ready. So welcome in the new and different now. They're helping you with the new things as much as things are blowing out where you no longer need it. New things are blowing in. So I welcome you. I welcome, uh, well, the new and the different and um, welcome those miracles Welcome that help, the divine support as you're going forward. And this has been the weekly free spirit messages for the week. Take care. Bye-bye.